If this has to go super late, who are you giving the edge to? Super late? I think... I don't I mean... Feel free to qualify with minutes. Oh, oh, Primal Roar going out onto Puppy. Do they have it? Yes, they do. No time to get up that extra armor. Who is coming in? The Fissure way too soon. Arteezy now with that time dilation, but Era has stunned him up. Arteezy needs some help, but they're just going to milk him down. Get a lightning proc. It won't be. The Winter's Curse comes out. They'll kill off that creep. And now a vacuum back. Arteezy, he could open up with the Chronosphere. Era, he hasn't lost enough mana. He will reincarnate the Timber, the Chakram, causing problems for Arteezy. But... They will lose Kazu, and now Era needs some help from Koikva. It is 3v2. How Wait long on the exorcism? Oh yeah, Era, will he turn around and use it? He still hasn't used it. Finally, he pops it there, doing a lot of damage to Eternal Envy, but he just doesn't have enough. And Koikva stunned up there, unable to throw out the Chakram. Never mind, Eternal Envy, exorcism, man. Well, this is tense. That's a scary place to fight versus a Darkseer. Versus a Darkseer, versus a Chronosphere, like... Oh, he surges the illusion of Arteezy. Are they going to think that's real? Oh my goodness. Era being spirit siphon immediately pops that blade mail. Eternal Envy taking a lot of damage. Where is the Echo Slam? Kazu, he's coming in. Primal Roar onto Puppy. Someone, no. Envy gets off his BKB. Cinderin going to be forced to run away. Beast Monster goes down. Era has used his reincarnate. He blinks over to the sidelines, trying to blow up Envy here. They do Echo Slam just onto him. Bulba caught out as well. But there it is. The Chronosphere Era. No reincarnate here. Do they have the damage? Quick for no. His Chakram, it's locked. And there it is, Lotus Orb gonna, uh, oh no, Lotus Orb, Winter's Girl is gonna help them kill off Yap, so Lotus Orb not gonna save Wraith King from going down, it's Koikva against the world. Of course, you're gonna just be able to just play a little bit more offensively, but they still have Aegis, they still have Cheese, so that's a little bit more of an advantage, and the, yeah, escape is Oh gosh, looking they're the looking window. for it right there. Oh my god, they're all pumped oh, up. Four no. man chrono! He manages to hit all of them. Yapso is gonna be brought down here. Cinder and he can't save lives this time. Koikva, all he can do is throw out Chakram's error. Is somehow still alive in the middle of all of that. He's gonna reincarnate into the hell that is his new life and only buyback. Let's see. We're gonna see error falling here very, very quickly. And they do not expect this at all. They don't oh, see it. Okay, and they get a two. Oh, he, no! gets... he stomped randomly for the creep. Oh, and now the fissure. They don't manage to vacuum Kezu back over the wall. The swap as well. Cinder wanting to make sure he saves their lives. Bulba's already activated his BKB. Cinder will go down there. And Bulba looking uh -oh. for some Koikba. more. Koikba in a little bit of trouble. Is there the Chronosphere? Catches two of them. Era's on the edge as well. They need some help. The BKB is no longer. Era gonna get beaten up by Kezu. Koikba getting very, very low here. He needs some help from his teammates. He throws out the Chalker Timber Chains over to the sidelines, but Arteezy just ends up following him, bashing him in that time walk. It doesn't matter about your Lotus Orb. They will see Timbersaw go down. He immediately buys back Eternal Envy in that cold embrace with the Echo Slam onto all of the creeps coming out there. But Envy eats the cheese up, and Era, he is fighting someone who is just much, much bigger than him. Era does have reincarnate here. Kazu getting low. Puppy, they need to dagger him down. They managed to. Era with the Lotus Orb and the Blade Nail coming out here. We'll see whether he can fight into MB Timber. So trying to help him with both of those Chakrams and be unable to get full stopped up to the high ground. And they will lose the first life. Boyd for jumping in. This is his second life. If he goes down into the Exorcism, that's going to be a dieback. They need some help. And Eris swapped out here by Cinderin and Arteezy being smacked up. No, they can't quite do it. They stun him again. The lightning, its procs are not enough. And Eris will fall. He buys back this team fight. There are a lot of buybacks on escape. Era, he's going to be spotted here by the ward. They oh, he know where in. he is. Era, what are you doing? Are you bait or something? Where's the swap? We need Cinder in here. Calling Cinder in. Era being brought back by Puppy. Now Spirit Siphon causing a lot of trouble. Kezu with the Lincoln Sphere. Oh, no. He didn't get off the Primal Roar. Eternal Envy has a Lotus Orb up, causing a lot of problems there for Cinder and Beast Monster dies on one side of the fight. Cinder inevitably going to go down there. Cold Embrace going to save up Puppy. And oh, no. I'm not sure what Era was thinking. Yeah, he was really far out. I guess he thought that maybe Secret had backed up, but they did not, and Roar was expended on the Lincolns. He tried to refresh and Roar again, but he died before doing so, and they do not have buyback on either of those heroes. Well, we're gonna about to learn whether Escape can hold against Soup Mega Creeps. Era gonna try to go in. Spirit Siphon coming out. Oh no, Puppy with the call. Putting Era into a bad position. Brings him back into the Chronosphere. Thank you, Cole. There's the Shivas coming out. Era will go down once. He's gonna reincarnate here, but he needs some serious help and he is not getting it. Echo Slam coming out from Yapso. Is it the control they need? They will turn around the Cold Embrace and no, the Winter's Curse. Era killing his friend. He is down. Rapier on the ground. 
and GG's most likely. Koifer gonna try to fight as best he can. Escape know that this is their TI dream right here, but Koifer getting blown up, head chopped off, and GG's are cold. Wow. Night Soak is a bit behind Dox here, but he's kind of trying to be a bit more aggressive. And I think the key phase for Fantastic Five is the next night. Well, they're oh, going to make it night that, now. Yeah, the uh, they'll take 12 pumped. minutes in, but no, they'll they'll accelerate that timing. They'll in. just go for it. They're going to tip Jaden looking for Bulba and Envy. Envy does have Omni Slash, and now it looks like Fantastic Five looking to back away. Arteezy's got a side trap in one. There's the False Promise. Good Omni, but doesn't do nearly enough damage. Posh just takes up all of that. The sound comes through. Illidan's now in. The wall drops down. Doesn't get anything done. They'll lose the hero in the end of Fear Spirit. Now BZZ in trouble. Walks through the wall. And they get off the Blade Fury. They're looking for the void. Posh and Ilden walk through as well. The side trap is up. The waveform needs to go there so he can get the kill and he will. And it will be a two for two exchange when it's all said and done. Maybe three for two. They get off the Fates Edict. Arteezy's coming back in. This is so tough. The glimpse coming through. Waveform, not enough mana for it. On the other side, he still has his ring of health. He's regening up here. Comes Yol back in. Boulder Smash. Refraction's still there. He's got plenty of charges. Here's, here's mana for uh, Waveform. There we go. Um, Puppy's looking. This could be a big call. On to two. He gets silenced up in the end. Still, they're just going to work with the Iron Shell. They get the call off. The one dunk. Two dead. And eventually, it is Secret that takes the engagement. There's a TP coming in, but it, I don't think it's going to really do anything. Meanwhile, RCC finds another one on the backside as the Air Spirit got chased down. Second, they're not pushing bot. They're going for Rose. Let's stop this. Secret is going to smoke up, and they're going to wrap and look for Illidan. He's the prime target. Yol as well. This could be a big blink call, but it's not there. He misses. Wait for him in time. Adaptive strike, but there's going to be the... Oh, man, they missed the Static Storm on everyone. The Magnetize coming through, and Yol gets false promise at the tail end of the engagement. Chakra Marchese melted up. Will maybe go down, but he just barely gets the refraction off. Great call to stop any further damage. The Magnetize will bring him down. Misses the call. BZZ stays alive. They get the kill with more purifying flames. It's a three for one exchange. Oh, I like this play. They're going to re engage off the smoke. This is very smart. They're going to wrap and look for Arteezy, who's very and far up. Arteezy is the ideal here to be in the front line, so to, to counter his They know game. that he's there, too. He's going to walk up and try to see yeah. us. Instead, they're going to go to the back lines, look for Puppy. They can't kink get it. Easily, if you get the blink off, it's a waste of smoke. Envy is going to go ahead and try to keep you out. Call will be under three. The Static Storm on top of it. This might be a good fight. Back wall onto all five. Can they get the kills done here? They've already gotten the Oracle. Magnetized up on Bulba. They might lose him. Still, though, a pretty good fight, all things considered, for Secret. It's a one for two exchange so far. Illidan might lose the Sages, but he will almost get Puppy in the process. The Omni Slash comes through. It's on the Ghost Scepter at Illidan. Still a one for nothing, or rather one for three exchange. And now BZZ's too far. And he went for that Timber Saw Chakram Willing Death. Now he's able to get up to the Timber Saw or Timber Chain up to the high ground. Glimpse back is there, and he will end up going down. He'll try the Timber Chain again, and finally, Secret with a huge static storm from Pile I Die. He's going to have nightmares tonight. Yeah, I mean, as bad as it was for Envy to lose that set of racks, it's going to be even worse if Bills and goes down in this fight. Although he is very strong, even without Scotty. Puppy jumps in, gets the call on the BZZ. He fought back, and he's the one that dies without buyback, and now this is looking bad. BKBs were popped, though, not for Arteezy necessarily. Lincoln Spear was broken as I think they're looking for a glimpse or something to just try to break it. Waveform through, they get the... Nilda's gonna pop the BKB in man fight. I don't know if this is gonna work. Bulba's gonna get caught. Magnetize, Static Storm on top. Misses on everyone. They will bring down Yol nonetheless. And Ilden, this man fight is not working. The False Promise. Envy does some serious damage. And he even goes down oh, after back. the False Promise. And oh, Fantastic no. Five might have just ended the game for themselves. Secret putting themselves in a great position now. And it looks like they will move on to the TI main event. And well done from this squad. They made a couple of mistakes here at the end of the game, but when it came to crunch time, they were able to get the job done. It looks like uh, do it all on his own. They get off the stone form with the enchant remnant pushing back. He gets forced forward, pops the BKB. He might still die to the well and will, but so I was like, well, okay, so it didn't have. I for a second I didn't think it had the Scotty, and he stole the money. So courier? No, Pasha, you won't be able. But you won't be as lucky as Envy, and, and that's too dead. Yeah, and I'm probably the entire team now. If Illidan's going to have to pop the BKB, the Omni Slash will go. Good Ghost Scepter's coming out, but it's probably too much at this point. Waveform away, BZZ. Too far, and they get the call. Good fall of promise, but he's not doing nearly enough damage, and that is it. They calling Blade and Static Storm for Victory Parade, and Team Secret will move on to the CI main event. And really, was there any doubt? This team was star studded They made it through the open qualifiers with relative ease. There, there were some doubts. Yeah, all right. There, all right open were... qualifiers, thrown on 1,000 HP. I think Secret fans had a lot of doubts, but... Pro Dota, best Whew. team, EU, perhaps, or what a, the other team they were really down against yeah. as well. But they, they had some close shaves in the open qualifiers. Need to say they were still the second one, but regionals, they delivered. They had some close games, but they definitely looked like the best team in regionals, so I, I think they are well-deserving of that spot at TI. So, all together, gods, it, it really 
really solid play from Team Secret. These, especially these past three tiebreakers, they did or past two tiebreakers, they did a very good job.